Nevada Northern Railway Company was incorporated on June 1st of 1905. Sometime between the completion of the railway and the early 1930s, locomotives and equipment working the mine and smelter line bore the name Nevada Consolidated Copper Company. Steam was king on the 150-mile railroad. Notice the abbreviation on the cab of locomotive number 95. The NCC company name lasted until June 12th of 1933 when Kennecott, a copper company from Alaska, acquired all assets of the NCC company. At this time, the name was changed from company to corporation, keeping the same abbreviation. The new name lasted 10 years after the Nevada Consolidated Copper Corporation was absorbed in 1943 by Kennecott, becoming Nevada Mines Division of Kennecott Copper Corporation, better known as KCC. Notice the name change on locomotive number 93. By 1950, steam had met its match with the arrival of diesel locomotives RS2s and RS3s from Alco, better known as the American Locomotive Company. From this time forward, the Alcos ruled the mine to smelter runs. Join us trackside as we witness Alco action on the line between the mines at Ruth and East Ely. Here we see Alco's number 102 and 104 with a caboose hop headed westbound to Copper Flats Mining District to pick up hoppers laden with copper ore. Locomotive's number 102 is recognized as an RS2. It produced 1,500 horsepower. She was retired in 1982, then scrapped in 1984. Locomotive number 104 was retired in 1982 as well, then donated to the Portola Railroad Museum in Portola, California. Descending the hill, notice the small mining community of Ruth, Nevada. Notice operational speed. Boy, they really got these trains down the line. Thank you. 
After delivering the raw copper ore to the smelter in McGill, we find number 102 and number 104 pulling empties at the beginning of the grade in East Ely. Returning to Copper Flats for another load of train, all in a day's work. If you know the operations of how many trips a day a set of alcos make, please comment in our comment section. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of Alcos on the Nevada Northern Railway. Let's finish off with a Sperry track inspection car and a beautifully painted locomotive number 401 and SD7 running north on the line to Schaefer and Cobre. If you have not traveled to Ely, Nevada to experience the Nevada Northern Railway Living Museum, treat yourself. Step back into another time of American railroad history. Subscribing and sharing will guarantee your future experience with the Nevada Northern and beyond. Thank you.